uh, I still comprehend, <laughs> can't comprehend what the fuck happened in Fairy Tale. So, I I got home a bit early today, <laughs> feeling pretty bad. Um, not really been there long. And I was like, oh, the fairy tale chapter's come out. Let me read it. And I'm like, yo, it was pretty, like, uh, slow. You see, like, Miliana, like, talking to Jalal, saying, you know, you know, uh, I've already forgiven Jalal. Like, I was saying, you know, I've already forgiven them. Just back off. And he's like, why are you covering me? He killed Simone. He kept us captive. And he's like, she's like, I can't forgive him. And out of nowhere, Ulter. And she's acting kind of funny, saying, you know, I'm the one. Who pulled everything um, behind the behind the scenes? I'm the one who controlled Jalal from the from the shadows. I'm the one who killed um, Simone. If you want to come at me, I think like Ulter's Mo. I think she doesn't. She don't think she's gonna be coming alive out of this. So she thinks like since she's rotten to the core, she's going to like you know take all the blame away from Simone. Uh, like not from Simone from Jalal. And you know, even then they say, you know, what's wrong with this twisted, twisted world? And Sting and Rogue, um, the current time, like actually were like t like fighting. They was fighting like the two dragons, and they're like joking about. And I'm like, you know, this is still a war. Like, stop joking about. Like, like Sting was acting so much like Natsu, um, out just out of nowhere. And then as well, come to my Gray and like freaking Julia, it's just like you know, all tears. Like you know, I'm the freaking witch. It's seen my sins can't be wiped away. That or the slate, and she's like scared and crying because she's gonna be killing an innocent person. I still don't think you know it's like way too much dramatic. I don't think they're gonna go and kill him. And like, Meled uh, Melody uh, comes up to Julia asking, you know, have you seen it all anywhere? And she's like, and Gray saves Julia and saying, you know, don't lose. And then like. Leo saying, you know, don't lose focus, this is a war zone, and it's like, sorry, and it's like, and there's a bit of joking about saying, yo, oh, Grace, I'm gonna touch my butt, and Grey wanted to tell you this, but out of nowhere, dragons, like, some of the little dragons come out, and Grey protects her, and he gets shot in the heart, and that's not, that's not all, Grey got shot some more. He was getting shot all over in his arm, like his chest. He was getting bombarded because of Juvia. And she's there screaming her eye. Like, she's, like, got a face like that. Can't believe that her, her loved one is dying and Grey gets shot in the head. I was like, what? I mean, yeah, Juvia's single now, so, you know, it gives me a chance to move in. But, um... We did say we was going to get people dying in this series, and I guess kill off one of the main characters. If this is actually going to happen, if it isn't going to, you know, the power of friendship brings Grey back. You've done a really solid chapter, Hero. Like, you did a real solid... I mean, yeah, you build up the whole sense with the whole thing with Ultir trying to, like, not kill her. Um... As well, the comedy was a little bit silly, but overall, it was a great chapter. It's probably one of the better ones of this war, and it's like, we need to see what's going to happen. Is Grey dead? It seems a lot like Grey is out for the cow. Like, you don't normally get up from taking bullets to the head unless you're a badass, unless you're white beard, but Grey ain't no white beard at all, so... I think we just experienced one of the first, you know, like so one of the first major deaths in the Fairy Tale Guild. Like, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this. But I'm um, Panda, rest in peace, Grey. I guess. Like, but Strutler Panda, sign out, and I'll see you next time, people.